What's going on guys? Danny here from Cobra Racing and today we're going to build one of the most awesome differentials for the Traxxas Slash 4x4 and similar models. So models such as the Traxxas Slash 4x4, the Rustler, the Stampede, uh, the Haas and basically similar platforms. So for this build we're going to be using the Cobra Racing uh, Helical Spiral Cut uh, Differential Kit which is right over here and then the aluminum housings from Cobra Racing as well. So let me show you the spiral cut really quick. Uh, let me open this up. So check out the spiral cut. This is basically the full kit. So you have the front and the rear uh, differential gears. Uh, and you also have a set of bearings that'll cover both the front and the rear. So take a look at these differentials, guys. Look at that. They are absolutely amazing. So front and rear. And then we have the front output pinion as well. Uh, this is also spiral cut or helical. Uh, some people like to call it spiral cut. Some people like to call them helicals. Um, you know, I'm probably going to use both. Um, and then for the rear, you also have the ring pinion right over here. I'm not sure how visible this is on camera. Okay, so we have the full set. And then again, like I said, we have a full set of bearings as well. So let's go ahead and open the differential housing and take a look at this housing, guys. Look at that. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. We're going to go ahead and build that. By the way, for those that are interested, uh, we also sell these housings complete with the differential set. Uh, we grease them up, basically do everything, um, and it's plug and play. So for those that are interested and want to buy the complete set, um, I am going to drop the link for all the products I mentioned in this video. Uh, I'm going to drop the links in the description. So for those that are interested, uh, make sure you check them out. So let's go ahead and build this really quick. So the bearing set, let's lay it all out on the table. So here we go, this is the full bearing set. So we're gonna start with the rear, take the big bearing and basically just slide it into the differential housing just like this and it's in. See, turn it, it's super smooth, um, it's pretty good. So we're gonna take one of the differentials and we're gonna take one of the bearings and then slide it in right here and then do the same. This is a different bearing for the other side. Uh, basically just slide it on the other end as well. So now that we have the bearing in here, uh, we're going to take the ring gear for the rear and basically we're going to slide it into this uh, bearing. Remember guys, this is a, an exact direct fit. So if it's a little bit crooked, it's not going to go in. Um, so basically it just snapped in just like that. So take a look. So spin it, spinning nice and smooth. So I have the bearings on the differentials and basically this is going to slide right into the, the housing just like that. And take a look. Look how smooth. I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, it's super smooth. I mean, this thing spins like butter. Um, so everything is spinning, you know, just right. We're going to take the rear uh, part of the differential housing, and then we're just going to put it in just like that. Now, with the differential housing, you get a full set of screws. Uh, so let's go ahead and take out the screws from the bag. Uh, so we can screw this in. I'll show you how the final product actually looks, uh, but let's first, uh, you know, finish the install. And then let's take the small screws, which is the, uh, the screws that you need for the differential. So this one, and then let's put it in. And then we'll take another screw. I believe it's this one, yep. And then put it in. And now let's go ahead and screw it with the trusty Cobra Racing uh, tool. So this is a two millimeter. So basically just uh, screw it in. And, oops, and just screw in just like that. And then we're going to do the other side. So this is for the rear, basically. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. We're going to go ahead and apply the grease in just a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and do the front one uh, first. So for the front, take the front part of the differential housing. And then we're going to want to put the bearing inside first, just like that. And there you go. It's in. Just like that. Spin it. Spins nice and freely. And then we're going to take the output pinion for the front. And we're going to go ahead and slide it into the bearing. Just like that, right there. Boom. This is all in. It's nice and smooth. Take the differential, and again, go ahead and put the bearings on each end. Uh, they only go one way, so you really can't mess it up. 
and then take the other bearing and then put it on the other end and then we're gonna just go ahead and slide it in just like that wow this thing smells like butter now one thing i'd like to point out is this differential only goes one way right so if you look on the sides um it's seated perfectly right but if i try to put it the other way look at this if i try to put it the other way look at this it's not really seated you see there's a gap right over here um, just because each side is a different size so just keep that in mind if you're putting the differential in the housing and it's not sitting properly all you have to do is just basically turn it so let's go ahead and turn it just like that and this thing just spins like butter i mean it's amazing and let's go ahead and put the other end of the differential housing just like that and then we're going to go ahead and use the other bag for the front right so let's open this up to get the screws out and then we're going to want the smaller screw which is this one right here and we're going to put it in So again, I'm going to drop the links in the description for all the products I showed you, including this tool. Uh, for this tool, you actually get four. You get uh, the 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, and 3.0, which is basically, you know, all the tools you're going to need uh, if you're working on your Traxxas 110. Um, so that's going to cover pretty much, you know, the entire car. So let's go ahead and screw the other side in. And just like that and then the last step obviously take that uh, the other um, bearing and this one goes in the front of the front differential just like that and once you put it in just pull the output gear out and look at this guys this thing like I said the the difference between the helical spiral cut and the straight cut I mean it's just night and day even when you just spin it by hand um, you virtually hear no gear sound. I mean, this thing just spins like butter. And with helical gears, because the teeth are angled, uh, you're gonna get a lot more meshing. Like, it's gonna mesh so much better. You're not gonna have any of the gears basically bounce off of each other. Um, everything just me meshes nice and smooth. Um, and what you're gonna experience when you're riding your car with these gears is it's gonna be a lot quieter um, than, you know, traditional straight cut, uh, you know, differential gears. So basically, this is done. So now for the fun part, we're going to be adding the grease to the differential. So let's go ahead and do that really quick, and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's start out with the front. Um, so basically, I'm going to take my grease spoon uh, right over here, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the grease as such, just like that. Don't worry about making a mess. I mean, you can clean it up later. But you want to make sure you apply enough grease because, you know, these gears, when they're spinning, you know, when you're bashing, uh, you, you know, these things are spinning so fast, uh, it's easy for them to kind of like, you know, heat up or overheat. Uh, so the grease basically mitigates, you know, all that heat and keeps everything nice and cool. So basically, I applied the grease and now I'm just spinning it to apply the grease evenly all across the gears, as you can see. And here, guys, what I'm doing is I'm basically feeling for resistance, right? I don't want it to be very soft and I don't want it to be very hard. So I want it to be just, you know, like just enough resistance, um, but not too soft. And this is perfect right here. So I'm going to leave this as is. And then we're going to take the back one and we're going to be doing the same thing as well. So take a look right here. Just apply the grease just like that. And then we'll add another scoop or maybe two scoops. This was kind of a small scoop. So one more scoop, just like that. Okay. Now that that's done, basically just spin it to kind of move the grease around and make sure every part of the differential is nicely lubricated, just like that. And guys, I mean, you have to feel this. It's so smooth. This thing spins like butter. And that's it. So there you go. Job is done. Um, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. The hardest part about rebuilding your differentials, in my opinion, is basically taking these off the car, right? Once they're off, uh, you know, it could seem like, a, you know, a little bit intimidating, but it's actually pretty simple. As you could see, the job, you know, not more than 5-10 minutes, um, and you can have a fully built differential. Now, take a look at these differentials, guys. 
As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we also sell this complete as a set. So basically what you're looking at right here, uh, we also have it on our website. So this product is basically always in and out of back order. You know, it's super popular, so it constantly sells out. Uh, so if you do go to our website and you notice that it's on back order, just keep in mind that if you do place the order, um, expect the order to ship within two weeks if the product is not in stock. If the product in, is in stock, um, basically between one to two business days um, and this will be shipped out to you. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this in the future, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.